and come on in. Uh, what can I do for you today? Looking to get a haircut. Okay. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what are we doing today? You're not sure? Okay. Um, how do you normally wear your hair, up or down? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I think we'll need to start with a good brushing first. Just uh, get this looking a little more clean. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what we want to do with it, okay? Is there any particular reason why you're in for a haircut today? Oh, you're, you're going to the inner ring. Like the, the inner ring of Eshan, that inner ring. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're all, uh, we need a haircut, don't we? And just uh, overall polishing up, huh? You know, um, in order to pass for a noble person that belongs in the inner ring, we need more than just a haircut. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we can start there, you know. But uh, what would you say about maybe getting a facial as well? Just sort of a cleaning up and freshening up the skin a bit. Okay, yeah, I mean, just having... I mean, your skin is its very nice. It looks healthy. But it does just look a little bit worn from travel and, well... A life that isn't the life of a nobleman, let's just say that. <laughs> but we can we can get you all freshened up and then I bet you'll pass for a nobleman in no time. Sure, yeah. You know, your hair is it's very nice. It feels healthy. It's just it just needs some care, doesn't it? No problem at all. We'll get you all set up, okay? Alright, let's start with Good brushing, shall we? Okay. Tell me if I'm pulling too much, okay? I'll try to be gentle. Is that okay? Okay, good. Just get this all nice and smooth. So, uh, do you, do you live in the outer ring or the middle ring? Oh, you don't live in Eshan normally. Are you visiting them? Okay, well that would explain why I didn't recognize you. But I know, well, most people in the outer ring. I guess if you lived, you know, clear across the other side of the city, I might not have run into you. But then again, if you lived over there, there's a... Probably a closer hairdresser that you could have seen. Well, then where are you from? Whisperwind. I don't think I've ever heard of that place. Where is that? Okay. Interesting. It must have been a long journey here. Yeah? Hmm. Well, what brings you from... All the way up there, down here to Echelon. Oh, research. Interesting. You don't mean the, uh, the Library of Parliament, do you? Alright, that's what I thought. I mean, it makes sense. There really is no finer place to research. Not in the city of Echelon, anyway. The only place that could maybe rival the Library of Parliament is the, uh, the Royal Library in the capital, but if you came from north, that would be a much, much, much further journey. <laughs> there we are. That is looking much smoother now. It'd be much easier to cut.
So how long have you been in Eshan then? Oh, you just got in yesterday. Okay. Have you, uh, have you found a place to stay? Oh, the Black Stallion, yeah. It's a nice place. She's a good person. Yeah. Luella. She's a good soul. Has, uh, has anyone warned you about this city and, um, not staying out past dark? Oh, good, they have. Okay. I mean, you never know. A stranger in a city like this, you might not have heard of the goings-on of the day-to-day -day life. But I'm glad that someone told you about all the, the disappearances. Yeah. They're piling up. No one really knows what's going on. If the guard knows, they uh, they haven't told us yet. It's getting to be a bit alarming. In fact, I'm glad you came in when you did, because I'm not taking customers past a certain time of day so that I can make sure everyone gets home safely. Yeah, gotta look out for each other here. Oh well, you should be done in Plenty of time. Plenty of time. You could probably even go somewhere else today, too, if you needed to. And then get back to the Black Stallion. There we go. That is looking much better. Reach around to the back a bit, okay? Just sort of, there we go. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna sneak around to this side now. So do you have any, uh, any other plans while you're in Esha besides just, uh, research? Nothing as of yet. Do you know any family or friends that live here? No? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe you'll make some new ones along the way, huh? <laughs> Alright. I think we are good and brushed now. Now, before we cut... I think it would be beneficial if we tried to clean your hair a little bit. Um, it, it, it doesn't look bad for the outer ring or even the middle ring. It's, it's not too terrible. I know obviously people don't bathe all the time. It's not good for you to bathe all the time, of course. But um, for the inner ring, it, it is a bit dirty looking. It's, it's a simple enough thing, though. It's actually... A lot of people find it very relaxing, okay? I'm going to take some of this cleansing powder that we have here. Yeah, it's, um, it's ground seashells, actually, mixed in with some cleansing oils and a few very, very finely ground herbs in there. We'll just kind of shake this in. And your roots there, and that should help just kind of soak up some of that extra oil, okay? Make it look much cleaner without having to use water. All right? All right, sounds good. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my fingers. All right. 
So I'm going to start with your scalp and then we'll kind of brush it down a little bit, okay? Okay. this part very very relaxing yeah it does feel nice doesn't it well if you feel those eyes starting to droop a bit don't you worry about it okay you do fully fall asleep I'll, I'll wake you up when I need you but you go ahead and rest All right, some more powder. Let's do the other side of it. All right. Get a bit more, and now we're gonna do the back too. Kind of shake it in near the scalp. It's working nicely just to sort of soak up some of that excess oil. Now let's uh, brush it in a little bit, okay? I mostly need it up, up near the roots, but I'm going to sort of brush it down now and then it'll take care of everything else. There we are. Yeah, that's looking much cleaner now. Don't you worry. Like I said, not a big deal for anyone living outside of the inner room. But if you want to pass for a noble person, oh, this will help. Go around to the back again, okay? is looking, yeah, much better. Much, much better. Okay. Excellent. Now, as far as the cut goes, were you thinking just something very classic and streamlined or something with a bit of layers and movement? Or, uh, you know, it's all the rage in the inner ring right now to have a, sort of an asymmetrical look. Yeah, shorter in the back and then longer in the front. Mm-hmm. That's really in right now. And in the inner ring, it's all about the styling, too. Do you have any sort of uh, hair accessories that we could use? Okay, I uh, I don't have any right now, actually. I'm, I can't afford to get them all the time. Sorry, but uh, if you happen to find something and bring it back, we can 
we can style your hair with that before you go. Okay, so what, what cut were you thinking? Okay, yeah. Absolutely, can do that, no problem. Here we are. Probably, uh, yeah, start in the front over here. And then we will work our way around. Make sure it's even. So have you been enjoying Eshan so far? Good. Yeah. It's a beautiful city. It's a lot to offer. I mean, if you've been at the Black Stallion, you've probably only seen the Outer Ring so far. Not that that's a bad thing. There's a lot of good people that live here. But once you do venture to the, the middle and the inner ring, it's, um, quite the cultural treat, being here. Is Whisperwind a big city? No? Little town? Oh, okay. You had that sort of rural charm to you when you walked in here. <laughs> no, no, that's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> it's a good thing. Not every day someone from a small town way north of here travels all the way to Eshan to research something. Have you always lived in Whisperwind? Well, you haven't. Okay. Where were you from before then? Hmm, far away. Okay. That's pretty ambiguous. Oh no, I, I probably haven't heard of it. I've lived in the Outer Ring my whole life. We don't exactly uh, have top-notch universities out here. No, we could never afford something like that. Not that I'm dumb, but I just never really had a chance to learn to read and look at maps and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's all right. I'm doing just fine for myself, thank you. I like being a hairdresser. It's a good profession. You get to talk to people. Get to know them. Pamper them a bit. Help them feel fresh. Sometimes like a whole new person. When I style someone's hair and they leave here feeling happy and beautiful or handsome. It's a nice feeling. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
it. Let me just uh, hold your head real still, okay? Make sure that that is even. Okay. Looks good. All right. I'm going to move around to the back then, okay? And we'll sort of even it out there. All right. Make sure that's even over there. Yeah. Hold on. Take pieces from the back here and just... Yeah. Looks pretty good. Alright, now did you say you wanted layers? Just adds a bit of... a bit of movement, and it's actually pretty healthy for your hair too. Yeah. Having some shorter layers means that it can actually grow faster. Mm-hmm. You have some layers? Sure. I won't do too many, not, nothing crazy, but just enough to sort of give it some, some body, okay? Right. There we are. Yeah. Get some nice, nice movement there. Okay, perfect. Over to this side. And how about um, your bangs? Did you want to keep them long or would you like to cut them so they sort of frame your face or straight across maybe? <laughs> straight across is pretty bold. It uh, takes a special person to be able to pull it off. I've done my bangs straight across a few times and I've liked it for a while and then just having to cut them so often and my hair's a little bit thin, so they never quite laid right, and I always ended up regretting it. They look really cute on some people, but I'm not one of those people. If you want the, the framing, sure. Yeah, I'll still keep them a little bit long for you so we can... Uh, you can still tuck them back if you need to. Let me just finish the layers in the back, okay? And then we'll move on to the bangs.
this time with these glitters. Those look nice. Just gives it a little more movement. And cutting off some of that other hair, it, it means that the nutrients can distribute a little bit more to the rest of the hair too. Yeah, why don't you run your fingers through it a little bit, see what you think. Yeah? Good. Good. I'm glad you like it. So let's, uh, let's get those bangs, huh? So you want them to just be sort of to the side here, framing your face, about, about down here by your chin. Okay, no problem. Yeah, just hold still, make sure that your head is there, nice and straight, good. You don't want uneven bangs. <laughs> I mean, you don't want uneven hair anywhere, but definitely not in face framing bangs. Okay, hold still. There we are. All right, that looks nice. Over to this side. Make sure that's laying right first. There we go. Okay. There we are. Yeah. There. All right, let's just take those two pieces and make sure that's even. Yeah. All right. Take that length up here. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. How does that feel? Good. Just nice and fresh, you know? You're just looking much more polished now with that haircut. Definitely. All right, now, should we see about that, um, uh, cleaning up your face a little bit? Sure. Yeah, you know, if you'd like, we do actually have an all-natural facial that we can do, too. It just adds in a lot of different nutrients to your skin, cleanses it, and, uh, just gives it a nice, young, vibrant look to it. Yeah, definitely something that wouldn't happen in the inner ring. All right, sure. Let me, uh, we're gonna cleanse it first, okay? And then we'll put on a wonderful mask for you. All right. Got some spun cotton here. Nice and soft. Start out just dipping this in a bit of water. I'll start by just wiping off some of this excess dirt, crime, wear from the road, as we say. There. Is that cotton nice and soft? Good. There we go. Oh, look, there is a person under there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it wasn't that bad, trust me, trust me. When the, uh, the farmers or the farm hands more come in from the countryside to get freshened up, sometimes I don't even recognize them. It's just 
part of living a lifestyle where you work with your hands, but work outside in the sun all day. There's no shame in it. It's honest work. It just means you need a little bit of cleaning up now and then. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Trying to forget your neck a little bit too. Okay. There. Just get you all nice and clean. You know that uh, that cloak of yours has seen better days, huh? Are you thinking of maybe uh, going to a tailor? Where you go to the internet? Oh, you were. Good. Good plan. I mean, a haircut is great. Nice clean face is great, but neither of those really matter if you come in with ratty clothes. Yeah. It's an obvious giveaway. Obviously. Well, good. Do you need help finding a tailor? Oh, no. Okay, good. Well, there is one right across from uh, the Black Stallion, isn't there? Good. Yeah. She's a friend of mine. Good girl. Honest. She'll, uh, she'll tell you what you need. <laughs> She's very good at what she does. She'll get you looking nice and polished. Perfect for the inner ring. All right. Sounds good. I think we're looking all cleansed now. Now, let's mix up your mask, shall we? Alright, we'll mix it up in this bowl for you. I'll spread it on your face. Alright, first base ingredient oatmeal. Bet you didn't know it's also good for your skin, huh? Not just for eating. Yeah, oatmeal, it, um, it helps absorb any sort of oils that might be on your skin, and it also helps cleanse any sort of impurities. There we go. Next up, we'll add some oil. Now this oil has been infused with lavender. Mm -hmm. Lavender is a very, very soothing herb. It can also work as a cleanser too. So oil will help to hydrate the skin, give it a nice fresh young look. And then a little lavender will help to soothe any sort of red spots or dark spots, anything like that. Next, we'll put in a little bit of honey. Just a bit. This stuff is really expensive. But honey is also an excellent moisturizer. And it works as a cleanser, too. Did you know? A lot of these are multiple things. Just a little bit of honey in there. Perfect. Okay. And our final ingredient is a lemon. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice, also a cleanser. You're noticing a pattern here. But lemon juice also helps to tighten up the skin and 
rejuvenated a bit. Give you a very young, fresh-looking face. It's a big thing in the inner ring. You know, here in the outer ring, we don't live long enough to actually look all that old. <laughs> Honestly, we don't have enough money to care about it either. But in the inner ring, it's all the rage, especially with the women. Looking as young as possible for as long as possible. All a bunch of rubbish, if you ask me. There's nothing wrong with getting older. Age is beautiful. With age comes wisdom comes the evidence of a life well lived. Get you another one. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing to be ashamed of. But anyhow. If they want to look young, they can spend their money on looking young. I'm not going to stop them. To each their own. Alright. Let's mix this up for you. There. texture. All right, I'm going to use the back of my spoon and we'll just spread it onto your face, okay? All right, here we are. Start with your cheeks. It's kind of goopy. <laughs> That's okay. It's all ingredients that are super, super good for your skin. I'll rinse it off for you too, so. And then once it's off, I guarantee you'll feel a difference. Alright. Let's get your chin done. Forehead up here. There we are. A little bit extra on the temples for you. And then just a little right on the nose. There. <laughs> there. All right. Now, we just need to let that sit for a minute or two to do its thing, okay? Now, while we wait, how does a hand massage sound? Good? Wonderful. Get a little more of our lavender oil here. Put a little bit of that on my hands. Let's see about those hands of yours, huh? Can I have your hand?
How does that feel? Good. Let me know if I'm doing anything too hard. I mean, I won't press super hard, but hopefully it feels nice. You know, hands are sort of another dead giveaway that you're not noble. It's not as noticeable up front, unless you're actually, you know, talking to a person in closer quarters with them, but hands that are rough or calloused or dirty, any of that is a dead giveaway for the working class. People in the inner ring always have the softest, most delicate hands. Bunch of sissies. <laughs> Bet they wouldn't know how to fix a horse trolley, huh? Nope, I don't think so. Well, I guess they don't need to, but... Like I said, I see nothing wrong with working with your hands. Feels good knowing that you can accomplish something on your own, huh? There we are. Have your other hand. Does that feel nice? Good. So not only does this feel nice, but the oil will also help to soften those calluses of yours. Give you just one extra little way that you look more like a noble. There. Nice and relaxed. Good. Let me uh, grab a towel really quickly. I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. Just a sec. There we are. Sometimes I forget to grab the towel before I start that. <laughs> okay. Now you can let your hands soak a little bit in that oil. I'll give you a towel before you leave, too. Don't you worry. The longer you can keep it on, the better your hands will look. All right. Sounds good. Now, looks like... Yeah, your mask has pretty much dried out. So we rinse that off for you? Okay. Sounds good. Here we are. Got some more cotton. a lot, get all that goopy off. It's okay, goopy is good, goopy is good. <laughs> the face will feel nice and soft and clean and rejuvenated when we are done. Over there. There we are. All right, there's still. There we go. <laughs> okay. Did 
Does your skin feel better already? Good. It looks better. Already, even with me rubbing it like this, it looks very, very clean and bright. <laughs> very moisturized. Just like a no. I'm dribbled under here. There we go. Perfect. Right, and then just that nose right there. There we go. This to just a tiny spot up there. Okay, there. How does that feel? Good. Just dry your face off a bit. There. Just down, 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 down. I don't want to rub and irritate the skin at all. Just gently dab at it. Until we get it all nice and dry. bit more up here by the hairline. There we go. There. It's looking good. Okay, did you want to uh, wipe off your hands now a bit? Okay. I mean, a lot of that oil is probably sort of soaked in, which is what we wanted, but you go ahead and wipe that off. I get this cleaned up a bit. Thank you. Well, how do you feel? Good. Good, I'm glad. You look very refreshed and, if I do say so myself, very polished. <laughs> I think, uh, well, with a new cloak, I think you would be a perfect pass for a noble. <laughs> well, good luck whenever you, uh, Happen to mosey on to the inner wing. Yeah. Enjoy your time there. Yeah, I hope you find what you're looking for in your research. <laughs> well, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping in, and uh, enjoy your time in Ashland. <laughs>